This is the solution to written homework 87. Okay, so then Okay, so then we've got P is $700. R is 0 0.08 and n, since it's annual interest and it's compounded monthly, n is 12. So the model that we have, we have everything but t. So the model is a is 700 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.082 over 12 raised to exponent 12t. So when we want to plug in any year, we can plug in t into that. So in part b, we're supposed to plug in all of these years, 5, 10, blah, blah, all the way up to 40. Okay. 700 times 1 plus 0 0.082 over 12 with exponent 12 times 5. Okay, so this is saying 1053. Point thirty. Okay, so now I plug in ten. So that's one five eight four point ninety two. Two three eight four point eight six twenty three Point five five twenty five years five three nine nine point seven five Thirty years. Eight one two five point ten. Thirty five years. <clears throat> Twelve thousand now. Two hundred twenty five. Point ninety nine, and then plug in forty, and you get eighteen thousand three hundred ninety six point sixty six. So what that's saying is that over the course of 40 years, with more or less standard interest for such a long period of time, 700 becomes 18,000. So when one of your relatives says, back when I was your age, 
I only had to pay $700 for my first car. Well, okay, fine. I only had to pay 18000 for my first car. And there's really no actual difference.